All right. So let's continue. So Eva, can you help me to translate the next part? Okay, okay. And remember to come closer to the computer when you are speaking. So the next part is an example from the book, The Laws of Human Nature. It's an interesting, he has, he has several examples of deep narcissists and I chose this one. Um, so it's the example of a man called Leo Tolstoy. Tolstoy was a very, very famous author. Uh, he, he wrote many famous books like War and Peace and Anna Karenina Karenina. I don't know how to pronounce that. And um, so in the, in the book, uh, he talks about Leo Tolstoy's marriage with his wife. His wife's name is Sonia. And he's and in the book, he, he goes into the example of their life. He says that um, when they were first married, um, their, their marriage was, was happy in the beginning, but they started to argue more and more and more. And the arguments were always related to the fact that the other person the, the husband or the wife could not understand them and did not want to they did, the, the husband or the wife could not understand them and could not live the same life that that person wanted so for example <clears throat> um, Leo Tolstoy when he was older he he had written these books and he was very rich and he had many houses and he had he also had many children and when he was about 50 years old he decided that he wanted to um he wanted to give away all of his houses and his money and he wanted to live a very simple life and he wanted his wife and his children to to accompany him to live the same kind of life but his wife had already um, was already used to living in a very big house and having enough money to take care of the children and she did not agree she did not want to um, she did not want to to give everything away and live the life of a poor person the way that he wanted to this is just one example but often in their marriage they had these very big arguments where one person would want the other person to do something and the other person would not and they would have arguments and then they, they would get back together and have arguments and get back together and <clears throat> the reason that their relationship was like this as it says they had a very complicated relationship the reason was because each one of them was a deep narcissist each one of them always wanted attention from the other but couldn't understand the other person could not actually feel how their husband or their wife actually felt and what they wanted and so what happened was they only paid attention to themselves they did not have a self and they kept trying to get in deeper and deeper but it was impossible they 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 only cared about what they wanted and they only and they wanted the other person to to give them love and attention and they always tried to control the other person in the marriage and the problem for for leo tolstoy was that as I was saying earlier, that, that age, when Leo Tolstoy was two years old, his mother died. And I don't know what about his relationship with his father, but because his mother died, he did not get the attention that he needed. And he was not able to form a healthy self. He could not find self-esteem. He could not love himself. And as he got older, he kept trying to meet other, he kept trying to meet women and he kept trying to get love from from women but it did not work out very well he had many love affairs 
and he was not satisfied. He was always unsatisfied. And finally, when he met his wife, he thought that he could change his personality, but he only became more and more of a deep narcissist after he was married. And this caused a really, really big problem with his marriage with his wife, Eva. just a little bit more right so one of some of the things that we notice with deep narcissists is that they are always trying to control other people they see other people as part of themselves and that's why they think that they can control everyone because everything is for them everything is it, everything is supposed to make them feel good by by controlling other people they can get the attention that they want this is why leo tolstoy was always trying to control his wife but his wife was also a deep narcissist and so she would not accept being controlled she also tried to control him and they had this very 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 destructive relationship with each other they had many children together and sonia his wife was always trying to use the children against him she was always trying to make the children believe that he was a bad person she was trying to so that she could get sympathy so that her children would be involved in her life as I mentioned earlier about enmeshment, there are many parents who will, who will form too close. Their relationships with their children become too close and they control, they try to control everything about their lives. And this allows them to live through their children, through their children's achievements. By, by convincing her children that Leo Tolstoy, that her husband was a bad person, she could get more of their attention and more of their love because she didn't know how to love herself. And she wasn't getting the love that she wanted from her husband. Eva. Oh, okay. Uh, just, just, uh, Okay. 
就是去，然后这种情况的话，因为在对方呢非常理智一样，就是很做的东西，所以就失败了。然后他们会去控制孩子，然后。有一个方法，其实他们会去，呃，在孩子面前说说他们对方的那个坏话，然后让他们，然后让孩子讨厌对方，这样的话，那孩子会更加跟他们更加亲近，然后就得到更加的跟孩子。好，这里建议吗？应该是这样，对 ，Yes。Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you.